All right, so welcome guys. Let's start um, in child's pose. Big toes to touch, knees to the edge of the mat. And then rest your forehead on the mat, rock your fingertips forward. And just start by taking a big full breath in through your nose. And open your mouth, exhale. Take a big, full breath in. And exhale, let it Take one more big inhale. Exhale, let it And then walk your hands over to the right side of the back. Feel that nice stretch from your left pinky down to your hips. If you want, you can bring your hand on. Maybe shake 
shake your head no. Or nod your head yes. Walk your toes and heels together. Take a halfway lift, left and through your spine. Exhale, fold. Pull your chest in towards your legs. Let's stand tall, arms overhead. Clasp your fingers left through your spine. Bring your gaze up to your thumbs. You slowly trace that line across the ceiling as you lift through your chest. My husband's looking through the window. Warrior two, reverse your warrior, open your rib 
Deep breath in. Exhale them out. Inhale, lift your heels, bend your knees, pull your chest into your thighs. Straighten your knees and glide into a high plank. And then from here, lift your hips, come back to downward dog, push your hips back. We're going to reverse it, so we're going to lift your hips up and start coming into your high plank. Bend your knees, shift your hips back. Now lift your heels, bend your knees, pull your chest into your thighs, slide your body into a high plank. And then lift your hips, pull back down the back. Lift your hands and jump or walk forward. Take your halfway lift and a forward fold. Come back to chair, top, toes are touching. Squeeze your thighs, take a big breath, inhale. Exhale, fold. Halfway lift. Take your chaturanga around the options again for your push-ups. Into an up dog. Down leg. Right leg, warrior one. Open up warrior two. Reverse your warrior. Airplane your arms, take your chaturanga. Somebody's coming in late. Into your push-ups or up dog. And down again. Left leg, warrior one. Warrior two. Reverse. Airplane, your arms, take your chatter on. Not always an option for a push up or two. Get to a half dog. And down. Big breath in. Exhale, lift. Inhale, lift your heels, bend your knees, pull your chest into your thighs, glide your body into the high plank. Lift your hips, come back down your dog. Lift your hips, come into the high plank, bend your knees, shift your hips back, and down your dog. Lift your hands and jump or walk forward. Halfway left, forward fold. Come back to chair, take a big inhale. Exhale, we're going to try our curl pose. Drop your hands to the back. Bend your elbows and shift your knees onto your upper arms. Keep your gaze higher than the mat. And then slowly start shifting your weight to maybe one foot or the other. And then from here, shoot back to your chaturanga. Into an up dog. And down. Right leg, warrior one. Open up, warrior two. Reverse your warrior, and then take your extended side angle, right elbow on your right thigh. Left arm overhead. Option to stay here and take the bind. Left arm comes behind you, right arm under your right thigh. Pull your left shoulder back. Keep your right knee over your right ankle. Another inhale. And then exhale, let's drop both hands to the left side of the mat. Come into your low lunge. Left hand's going to stay down. We're going to bring the right arm up. So right arm is stacked over the left. Push your left heel away from you. And then slowly start pulling that left arm off the mat. Gaze to your left foot. Take a big breath in. Let's go right into our revolved half moon. Drop your left hand, pick up your left foot. Right arm still stacked over the left. And then slowly drop your right hand to the mat. Let's go into the half moon. Left hand's going to stack over the right. Left leg still engage. Open and stack your left hip over your right. And then drop your left hand. Bring your left foot back to meet the right. Take a halfway lift. Left leg. Exhale. Fold. Come back to your chair pose. Take a big breath in. Exhale. Let's try our curl one more time. Drop your hands. Lift your hips, bend your knees, shift the weight into your upper arms, gaze to the top of the mat. And slowly start laying one foot and then the other. Maybe leave the mat. Then your option is to just come into your chaturanga or jump.
jump back into your back dog and downward dog. Last leg, warrior one. Open up warrior two. Reverse your warrior. Left elbow comes onto your left thigh, right arm overhead. Options to stay or take your bind. Right arm comes behind you. Left arm under your thigh. Pull that right shoulder back. Trying to open your chest, slack the back wall. Take a big breath in. Exhale, open a little more. One more breath. Now let's drink. drop both hands to the right side of the mat. Bring your right hip in line with the mat. Right hand's going to stay down. Left arm's going to open to the twist. So left arm is stacking over the right. Push your left right heel away from you. Take a big breath in. Exhale, open more. And then lightly, the right arm is going to start leaving the mat. Coming into your twisted crescent lunge. Gaze to your left thumb. And then let's go into our revolved half moon. Drop your right hand. Shift the weight into your left foot. Bring the right leg up. Open your left arm over the right. Nice job, guys. Take a big breath in. Exhale, twist a little more. And then let's switch, drop your left hand, coming into your half moon, keeping your right leg engaged, right arm over the left, and then let's drop our right hand, let the right foot meet the left, take a halfway lift, left bend. Exhale, fold, come back to your chair pose. Hands to your heart, let's twist over to the right. So bringing your left elbow onto the outer edge of your knee. Right hand pushes into the left. Take a big breath and open your chest more. You can stay here and go big with your arms. Nice job. Let's shift the weight into your right foot and bring the left leg back. So you can stay here if you want to try your mind. Right arm comes under you. Left arm under your right thigh. Open the right chest back. And then release. Let's bring both hands onto the left side of the mat. And then your options here is to drop your knee. If you want, you can try your splits here. If you want to stay in a lizard pose, you can drop your forearms to the mat. If you want to try your own balance, pick up your back knee. Right arm is going to come under your right thigh. And then slowly start walking that right leg off the mat. Head comes low to the ground. Options to stay or take 
Sweetie Vine, left arm behind you, right arm under.
Nice job. Hands come back to the mat. Let's string the right knee. Shift the weight into your left foot. Bend your left knee. Extend your right leg long. Hands can come to your heart. Maybe pulling your right toes back towards your body. Bring that nice long stretch under your right thigh. You can stay here or bring the right arm up with your gaze up. You want to take your mind, right arm behind you, left arm wraps around your left knee. Nice job. Let's bring both hands to the mat. String both legs out long. Take your halfway left, left bend. Exhale, fold. Hands come onto your hips and slowly unhinge. Shift the weight into your right foot and let's bring the left foot to the top of the mat. Take your big inhale. And come back into your chair pose. Hands come to your heart. Let's twist over to the right, left elbow onto the outer edge. You want to stay, you want to try your side curl, drop both hands to the mat. Right knee is by your left upper arm and then start shifting the weight forward. Walk our hands to the 
side of the mat, coming back into the low lunge. Do we have to do this so I'm confused where I left off? <laughs> Let's bring the left foot back to meet the right, come into your high plank. And then take the chaturanga into your up dog and down. Take a big breath, inhale, lift your heels, bend your knees, pull your chest into your thighs, and then slowly glide into your high plank, lift your hips downward. Lift your hips, come into your high plank, bend your knees, shift your hips back, and down you go. Take a big breath in. Exhale, let it out, look to your hands, and jump or walk forward. Halfway lift, forward fold. Come back to chair pose. Over to your left. Options to stay or take your side. Grow, drop both hands to the mat. Bringing that right left knee onto your upper arm. Start shifting your weight forward. Drop, 
drop your booty onto your heels. Let's take a closed leg child's pose so your knees are touching. Reach your arms overhead. Take a really left leg through your spine. Bridge if you want to try and reel, bringing your hands up towards your ears. 
guys okay? Okay, I heard some talking. <laughs> All right, when you're ready, let's come back. Right to your back. Bring the soles of your feet together. And your spine come back to its natural alignment. back to your tall arms. Shift the weight into your left hip and bring both legs in front of you. Let's take a big inhale, lengthen through your spine and slowly start to reach towards your legs. Pull your toes back, lengthen through your spine and slowly melt a little deeper. Roll up. Let's open our legs wide, bringing your right hand behind your 
mat or behind your bottom. Left arm is going to lift up. Bring weight into your heels. Lift your hips high. Reach towards the back wall. And then release back down. Drop your left arm. Reach your right arm up. Lift your hips high. And let's try one more on each side. Right arm behind you. Lift your left arm. Lift your hips. And then lower down. Drop your left arm. Right arm reaches up. Lower all the way back down. Let's bring our feet together. Left peace fingers are going to grab your right toe. If you want, you can also grab your calf. Whatever feels good for you or your foot. Right arm is going to come behind you. Gaze to your right thumb. Think of really lengthening behind your right calf and thigh. Did I call it my left earlier? Oh, well. Sorry. So your options are to stay here. If you want to try the arm figure eight balance, bring your right arm under your right thigh so you're holding your right leg. Left leg is going to hook onto your right ankle. And then squeeze both legs together so your right hand is free and facing the same direction as your left hand. And then you're going to drop both hands to the mat. Bend your right elbow, which is holding your right thigh. And your left leg is squeezing onto your right thigh. You got to get your head really low to the ground to pick up your butt. So don't be shy to get your head really low and squeeze. Nice job. That's your first time. Don't be, feel bad. It takes a little bit of practice, but you can for sure get there. Let's bring our right arm up. Grab your big toe, your heel, your ankle, whatever works for you. Left arm is going to come behind you. Gaze to your left thumb. Push through your left heel so you're really lengthening behind your left leg. And then you can either stay here if you want to try your mind. Left arm is going to come under your left thigh. Right foot hooks onto your left foot. And then squeeze both legs together. Left hand faces forward, right hand faces forward. Lower them to the mat. Get your head low so that you can get your hip off the mat. And then squeeze your right leg onto the left. And then when you're ready, let's come back down. Coming all the way onto the mat, your choice here. You want to take your wide fall, feet stack over your hips, hands are under your tailbone. If you want to take the shoulder stand, you can rock and roll your legs up, fingertips towards your tailbone, bring your elbows off the mat, and then peel your toes, feet stack over your hips. If you're in the waterfall, it's an effortless pose, just let your feet stack over your hips. Letting the fresh oxygenated blood flow back into your body. If you're in a shoulder stand and you want more, you can start lowering your feet over your head. Hands clasped behind you. Into your pipe.
your jaw. Let your tongue fall from the roof of your mouth. And let's feel the energy go down your spine, out through your arms and fingers, out through your legs and toes. Take a big breath in. As you exhale, feel more weight melt into the mat, into the floor, into the earth. Just allow yourself to be here in this space. No longer really trying to do. Just allow yourself to be. Slowly come back to your breaths. Start making some small movements with your fingers and toes, ankles and wrists. Take a big, good morning stretch. Bend your knees and roll over to the right side and curl up in a little ball. Let your hands help you to a seated position with your eyes still closed and your hands to heart center. Let's all take a deep breath in together. Lift your hearts. And exhale, bow chin to chest. Thank you so much for sharing your practice with me and each other. I hope you all are staying safe and healthy. I miss you. Let's bring our thumb knuckles to our forehead. And together we'll say, Namaste. Thanks so much for joining me, you guys.